It's the bottom of the bag. And the first one drops. And so Irving nails both of them. He's dialed up his aggression here in the second half. Consistent in working himself to the line. Here's Brady. And the layup's good off the glass. Brady's got 45 points. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Irving. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Here's Brady. Driving to the basket. And he gets the bucket. Brady's got 10 points now just in this quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Irving's shot is good. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. And good! There's another. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Fantastic in earning these whistles in close up. He has no fear when attacking any defense. Now at the line for your backers. And he makes the first. Two shots. Both free throws good for Irving. So it's the Rockets now. Here's Brady. Good. That's another bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Anjic passes to Holmes. Dallas moving it around. Over Thompson. The shot from the low post is good. Holmes got the game tied up here for the man. He can run hot or he can run cold, but no doubt about which way he's running tonight. There is steam coming off that bad boy. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stop on the strike because that's who's going to come away with this one. There's Irving following the score by Houston. Yep, that one goes in there. Someone who loves the biggest moments. Kyrie hit one of the biggest shots in NBA history. Believe me, I was there. Here's Brady. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on Rashawn Holt. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a two-point ball game. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business at the lock. Doncic against Van Vliet. Doncic with the bucket. Doncic has got 23 points. How about the poise from Doncic right there? He ups the ante when it's a critical possession here in the game. Here he goes. And he goes strong at the... Green dishes to Irving. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth. Good! A huge shot to tie it up. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. And it's textbook. I mean, that move to the lane, you got to tip your hat on that. Well said, Greg. And, and Clark with some major elevation on the slam. Now, here's Doncic. Shoots over Van Vliet. And Brady pulls it down. Three second difference between shot clock and game. So they foul intentionally. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Ball. Doncic feeling it out. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. And Crespo, Doncic decides he wants to take over, and that's his personnel. He comes up with the goods on that one.
This isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. Yeah, they need to focus on scoring every possession and not turning over the ball. Cleveland. Yes! And tie game. Oh, Thompson a screen on Cleveland. Here's Brady. Oh, couldn't sink the shot, and we're going to overtime. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Green is out there with Maxi Kleba. And it's Holmes in at the five. Irving, good. This man is a three-level scorer. In this level, by the rim, there is nobody like Kyrie Irving in that touch he has. Thompson, a screen on Kleba. They double him with Green. And the shot goes in. Brady's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now, here is Irving. And here's Tyson from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Shingun's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Grady. Now, Green. He's covered by Irving. And locks up the alley -oop pass. He takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. It's hard to know what Green is going to do in these sets. He uses that unpredictability pretty much to his advantage, though. Here's Dajic. Stolen by Van Vliet. And it's the Rockets on the break. They set the pick. Down low. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. The pass to Doncic. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. Fred Van Vliet grabs the miss. Houston leading by four. Pass to Grady. Van Vliet against Green. Van Vliet passes to Grady. Hammers the alley -oop through. And the pick and roll delivers Van Vliet making the right decision, giving up the rock. To the rebound. Pass to Cleveland. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Rockets have gone four for seven on their shot attempts in the extra period up to this point. Shengun with a screen on Irving. There's the try. Yes! And they've been a different team here in overtime. They, they just seem to have lost their energy. Here's Kleba. Oh, and he almost had a fourth point. And so the coach's challenge here comes into play. The coach protesting the personal foul call. And this is the time now where the officials can... The previous play is under the... Personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. It really is, and, and how hard it can be the sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in error. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. So Houston wins it. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, it's the bottom of the bag.